We are talking about Battlestar Galactica! What's going on with the new movie and the TV share universe? We talked about it last year. We talked about it early, uh, six months ago. What's going on? Well, we got finally got some more information. Shane, what's happening with this, bro? It's been 13 years since the Galactica reached Earth. 13 years. We watched 13 years. We watched in the 2009 finale Daybreak as Admiral Adama, President Roslin, Apollo Starbuck, Gaius Baltar, and Caprica Six walked toward a bright and unwritten future in their new home. It was a cathartic but predictably divisive ending to a six-year TV journey that remains one of the best and most influential in science fiction history. There's no question that Battlestar Galactica paved the way for other serious, gritty political sci-fi dramas like The Expanse and recently released Foundation Adaptation. But Battlestar Galactica's legacy is one thing. What about the future? That's a question NBC Universal has been struggling to answer in the years since our heroes first touched down on our planet. There were multiple attempts at spinoffs directly after the flagship series finale on the Sci-Fi Channel, including two prequels, Caprica, which told the story of Bill Adama's father and how the Cyclons were, uh, sorry, the Cylons were first created, and Blood and Chrome, which would have followed the adventures of a younger Adama during the first Cylon War. Universal Pictures has also tried, tried and failed to get a film adaptation off the ground since before the show reached its conclusion. Uh, if, even if none of these projects have struck the same spark as Ronald D. Moore's reimagination of humanity's quest for survival across the stars, NBC Universal was clearly onto something back in 2009. Franchi franchises don't end anymore. They just expand further out with prequels and sequels. A definitive ending to a story is just an ending of the larger scheme of things. One only has to look at Game of Thrones with HBO and what they're doing now with the House of the Dragon and, and as well as the sequel of Jon Snow. Uh, take a look at uh, what's happening with Star Wars and all of the sequel trilogies there. So in other words, the Battlestar Galactica franchise uh, was way ahead, of the, way ahead of the curve when it chose to create other series based on its show. Uh, but while the 19-episode the first season of Caprica failed to convince folks they needed to watch more stories set in this universe, NBC Universal has two more projects in the works that could bring the franchise back for new generations of viewers. So take a look here, Mr. Brian. What do you think? Yeah, so um, how is this going to work? Uh, I remember they said that the movie, the Battlestar Galactica movie, um, and the TV show were going to be in the same universe, mm. but they were also coming out like at the same time. Yeah. Um, I think that a big reason, I think a big reason that this story, this this whole new like reboot or whatever you want to call it, the franchise is having a hard time getting off the ground. Yeah. Is I think that their goals are too lofty. I think mm. that in their mind, they want to take advantage of the streaming format and have interactive stories and movies coming out at the same time TV shows are coming out. And they, I think it's becoming too complicated. Okay. There is something to be said for a movie being mm. scheduled, being shot, a trailer being released, people watching said movie, People talking about movie. The end. Plan sequel. <laughs> that's you know what I mean? it. That's it. Yeah. But nowadays, like, it's got to be this whole complicated marketing platform mixed with movies and TVs and, I mean, sorry, t TV shows and miniseries and, and websites with weird little Easter eggs. And it gets mm. so complicated that a lot of the process, a lot of the story is being left behind for the sake of being clever. Right. Um, uh, Kinder, well, here's the deal. What's up? So the custodians of this project since 2020, our producer is Simon Kinberg, who did Dark Phoenix, and Dylan Clark, right. who did The Batman. And so Kinberg also penned the screenplay. But there's been a little movement beyond a second draft. Uh, but this is the update currently that we got earlier this year. Uh, they said, we are in the process of going out to directors 
And the hope is to attach a director and start prepping the movie this year. So maybe sometime in late 2022. So he, he said this in, in January. He said, it's a megala humongous film and the prep will be a very long prep period. So I would imagine even if we attach a director today, it would take six to nine months to prep the movie properly. So at the earliest, we'd be shooting at the end of this year. We'd probably be shooting at the beginning of next year. So as of this writing uh, here on Den of Geek, Kenberg and Clark have yet to reveal a director for the project, meaning that it's highly likely timetables will shift again. You, sure, you certainly shouldn't expect a Battlestar Galactica movie to begin filming in early 2023. Uh, fortunately, NBC Universal's ambitions for the franchise stretch beyond the big screens. Uh. Um, so that's kind of where we're looking at for the movie. Yeah, that's a, that's what Kenberg also said um, that he actually hopes to create a shared universe between the upcoming movie and a new TV project being developed for Peacock streaming service by Mr. Robot creator Sam Esmail. You see, the prep is so long because you are trying to create, like, a, you're trying to plan an entire universe, right? Right. Um. <laughs> before you even make the first movie. So they're trying to become, they're trying to make a Marvel franchise. But, I see. But they're planning the Marvel franchise. Like their, their goals are too big. Like they mm. need, they need to start smaller. They need like, wh like, like what they do with Marvel. They need to have phases, right? Make your phases smaller and have someone guiding the ship. Like this guy, uh, Kenberg, but she's trying to plan like all these connections and there's too many moving parts and too many cooks in the kitchen. And I honestly doubt that we'll even see an actual director attached to this thing before the end of this year. I don't mm. think they're going to even start this in, this thing this year. Because they've been talking about starting this for like three years, four years now almost. Well, I mean, shoot, they signed it back in 2009. I mean, even when it's been a long time. A long time. So they've been talking about it for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, we just have to wait and see. You know, hopefully the, the peg will move forward, you know, as science fiction becomes more interesting. And, uh, you know, NBC doesn't have a lot of sci-fi. So it would be good for them to attach themselves to something like like this. Oh, yeah. In 2019, NBC Universal announced a straight-to-series order for Esmail's new take on Bowser Galactica. 2019. They ordered a straight to series. <laughs> but you got to understand that we hit into COVID. Yeah. That's and true. so there, there is some, you know, I wouldn't say there's no hope. You know, it's just, uh, I think that we're just still maybe a little bit of ways. Maybe, maybe expect to hear something in the beginning of 2023 for an update. So we're still probably six to nine months away, probably from another update. All right, my friends. Well, listen, uh, on the way to the comment section, uh, to let us know what you guys think about a new Battlestar Galactica. Are they, are they, are they overthinking it? Are they trying to plan too much or, or do you like the fact that they're trying to plan a 20 year franchise, you know, in one setting? before we die? Yeah, please. Let's get it. Let's get it. Done. Let us know in the comment section and on the way there, please hit the subscribe button and the, and the like button, all the buttons. We noticed recently that our, uh, we have like, like 95% of you that watch the videos don't subscribe. So that'd be great if you did. I appreciate it. <laughs> we, we really would. Thank you. Right. We love you guys. We will see you guys tomorrow.